Also happening locally live at five, rival gangs strike out at each other by vandalizing the grave sites of murdered teenagers. The family of the victim tells Arlena Tillette they are outraged at the disrespect. This is a story you will only see on six. Joe and Mallory, the incidents first came to our attention on social media. Members of rival gangs posting pictures on Facebook bragging about what they say they did to the grave sites of two murdered teenagers. Well, I talked to the families of both of those teenagers, and they tell me they're devastated by the vandalism. The pain that you're bringing, you're bringing it to me as a mother. On what would have been John Tavia Swift's 17th birthday, his grave site was vandalized by a gang. Flowers scattered across the headstoneless plot. This picture given to us by his mother, who discovered it. I went up there and the mud was all stumped over and it was a cross in the middle of his grave and said, J. John Tavius. Swift was shot and killed back in September while walking home from his school bus stop near 34th and Northridge Drive. His murder remains unsolved and Swift says her grief is still raw. They hurt me in the worst way a person can ever be hurt. You know, and then to continue on with the chaos and the uproar of disrespecting graves. Fewer than 100 yards from John Tavius Swift's gravesite is where you'll find Eton Burns buried. He was killed in 2011 at just 14 years old, and we're told his gravesite was vandalized by rival gangs. What the Swift and Burns family tell me they believe was in retaliation for what happened to Swift. The headstone was taken off the base and placed on a side path. The Burns say they immediately filed a police report and tell me they are hurting from the disrespect, a pain Swift says they should now use to stand together to stop further retaliation. The first thing is going to be us coming together. You know, we can talk about this. This is your son that this is happening to. This is my son that this is happening to. Nobody's hurting like us. Now, Omaha police tell me that investigators are now looking into this crime, and not only are they buried in the same place, but John Tavius' mother tells me that John Tavius went to Eton's funeral back in 2011. So uh, while they may have associated with opposite sides, they need to just let both of them rest in peace. With photographer M.H. Danker, I'm Lena Tillette, WOWT 6 News.